Going on to my fire sign, Massive. It's your girl, D with 8th House Energy. Here to bring you a weekly uh, check-in for my fire signs. I'm going to do uh, Aries, Leo, and Sag. So it's going to be about maybe 10 minutes each, but I'm going to have a timestamp, so look below. All right, I'm just going to jump right in because I want to make sure i got enough time for everybody. So what we got for Aries? Aries, November 17th through the 23rd. What do we got for Aries? Aries. November 17th today until the 23rd. You know time is fluid though, right? You could watch this a year from now and it could resonate. So, you know. Aries. We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so looks like, um, you know, financially... Um, there's an issue, okay? Um, maybe your, your money is stopped. Maybe your money is stagnant. Maybe there is a problem uh, with finances, okay? Maybe you, you, you got an unexpected bill, okay? Maybe um, there was a plan in place that was going to make money and it doesn't work. Then we got the chariot in reverse, okay? Seven. Chariot in reverse. This is something that's um, is causing problems. Okay? It's like things come to a complete stop. You know, um, somebody's feeling indifferent about the situation. It's like, you know, in their heart or in their mind, they feel one way, but, you know, they're not aligned as far as what they're feeling. They're going through the, uh, the motions. What else do we got? We got the Ace of Swords. All right, so that is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So things are clear. All right, there's some truth here. There's some clarity here. Um, there could be uh, some legality here. Okay, some legal issues going on. All right, because we got the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Ace of Swords. Some people could be experiencing some legal issues. Okay, could be going to court. We got the uh, Ten of Cups in reverse. This is, um, you know, somebody's wish fulfillment being messed with. Okay, somebody's happiness being messed with. What else we got here? You know, this is, this is not what someone asked for. This is not what they expected. This is not what they want. You know? We got the Eight of Cups. All right, somebody walking away from a situation. All right, let's see what we got here for you. So overall energy is the three of cups, okay? This could represent friendship. It could represent, um, you know, having a good time, going out, celebrating with family. It could represent family as well, you know? Um, some of you may have some good things going on or someone. It also could represent support. So maybe right now you need your family support. With what's going on here? Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Or supporting your friends and family? And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. We have that clarified with the Tower in reverse. So, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse clarified with the Tower in reverse. This is um, a situation that just happened recently for some of you all right so you already got the blow let's clarify the chariot in reverse chariot in reverse clarify with the empress okay so yeah this is someone who um is having a problem with growth business you know um this is she is someone who is uh business oriented business minded Someone who is very fertile with ideas. Someone who is, um, she could be an entrepreneur. And right now she's having some financial issues that hit her out of the blue. And she's trying to figure out what she wants to do. All right. But um, it could be something legally here with the Ace of Swords. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify with the uh, Five of Wands. Yeah, this could be legal, legal battles. Okay. Or someone threatening legally, something legally. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups here? 
Ten of Cups clarified with the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is someone who was unappreciative. You know what I'm saying? Someone who could have very well been um, selfish, selfish, self-centered. All right. And it came back to backfire on them and it caused them some issues. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. Clarify with the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so this person was deceitful. Or this person feels that they were deceived. Okay? Let's clarify this Tower card in reverse. Why is this Tower card in reverse here? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. All right? So it looks as though someone is um, looking to uh, to maybe go back to a, a situation or revisit a situation. They could be revisiting a situation as to how this began. How did they lose this money? This Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Emperor. Or Empress. We have to clarify with the High Priestess. Now, High Priestess, this is represents uh, she going within. He going within. Whomever this is. Okay, trying to figure out what they should do. Alright. The Five of Swords. I'm sorry, Five of Wands. Yeah, that clarified with the five of cups in reverse. This is someone who um, could be remorseful of what happened. This is someone who also could be in a situation where um, they're ready to just move forward. Okay. So, you know, they wish that this didn't happen, but they're ready to just move forward. Then we have the four of cups in reverse. Why is that here? You have that here with balance. Okay, this is temperance. So yeah, this person wasn't appreciative of what they had. Um, they weren't they weren't balanced, you know. So they could have been in their emotions about things. They could have been, you know, doing other things and not paying attention to what was going on. And so it put them in a position where they were they weren't taking, you know, they weren't grateful. Because with the four of cups here, you have these cups down here, but you have the universe handing you something. And you're denying the universe from from what they're handing you. You're telling them no. So this is why, you know, you're having these issues now where, you know, things are not going the way you want it. All right, let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords clarified with the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, this person feels taken advantage of. They feel like they were misled. They feel like someone, you know, um, wasn't supportive. That like they didn't use their intuition. Like, damn, you know, I wasn't thinking ahead of time, and I let this person deceive me. Okay, so let's get some advice here. So this could be a love relationship. This could be um, a business relationship. It could be a family relationship, and just be about money. Um, let's see what advice we got. We got finances, okay? We know that's okay. So for some of you, this is about finances. For a lot of you, financial challenges are affecting this relationship. So again, for some of you, this is a business relationship. Um, that's what I'm getting really strongly here. Let's see what else Spirit has to say. We have trust, okay? It's safe to trust in this situation. So whatever your gut is telling you about the situation and what to do, because we have the high priestess here with the empress, listen to your gut. All right, we got vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. So sometimes when I see this card, it tells me that you were vulnerable to this person. Okay, especially with this situation here, they might have saw you as someone who was vulnerable with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, and so this is why the deceit occurred with the Seven of Swords. So yeah, this is what happened. They saw you as vulnerable. All right, so that's what I got for you, Aries. Let me know in the comments how you feel about that. All right, what is the time stamp? 9.22. So we're going to say at 10 o'clock, we're going to start Sag. All right, Sagittarius, what's going on with you? November. Whoops. November 17th, which is today. To the 23rd. Sagittarius. Sorry, these cards are so loud. And I'm, you know, can't even get myself together. 
I don't know what's going on with you, Sagittarius, but my energy just changed. I'm a little jittery and jumpy. I don't know what that's about. All right, what do we got for Sag? Sagittarius. All right. I got the Six of Wands in reverse. So somebody didn't, something didn't go in your favor. Somebody could be a bit vain, conceited. Think they know everything, know it all. Or, you know, you could have just been in a situation where you weren't victorious, you didn't win. And I got the Five of Pentacles here. So this is telling me that maybe you moved out. <clears throat> maybe somebody moved out. Maybe somebody um, got kicked out. Um, maybe um, somebody lost some money. That's why they weren't victorious. Any of those situations. All right, what else do we got here? Sagittarius, November 17th through the 23rd. Temperance, your energy. Tap right into it. All right, so. You're trying to figure out what the best course of action is, you know, to get things back on track because this is causing, you know, it's causing an imbalance and you're just trying to stay balanced. You're trying not to let this, you know, get you all stressed out. And then we got the three of pentacles here. So you could be working on something. You could be communicating with someone about the situation. Someone could be helping you out. Someone could be giving you some type of support financially. Okay. So you balance things out because they weren't well at, you know, they weren't good. And then we got the two, I'm sorry, the four of cups. Okay, so with the four of cups, hmm, you know, this is a situation where, you know, you're feeling, um, you could be feeling apathy, you know, unfulfilled, you know, um, maybe again, the universe is shining something down on you and telling you, you know, this is something here for you and you could be shunning this or considering shunning it. But it's being presented to you. You see it. Okay, so let's see what you're going to do about it. Overall energy, the chariot, looks like you're going to move forward. It's going to be difficult for you, you know, because you've been through some things. But uh, let's see here. Why is the, the Six of Wands in reverse here? Why is the Six of Wands in reverse here? For my Sag. November 17th, 23rd. Oh, Queen of Wands pop right out. All right, this is Aries energy. So, Maybe you didn't use, maybe you didn't, you weren't powerful enough. Maybe you were with someone and you didn't step into your power. Maybe that's why you weren't victorious. Um, maybe this person you were attracted to, somebody who turns you on. Maybe um, this is what's going on. Let me see what else we got. We got the five of pentacles clarified with the sun card in reverse. So it looks as though um, things are going to get better with this situation. It's just... You got to go through this process for whatever reason. Why is temperance here? We got the magician in reverse. Yeah, you got to keep things um, balanced so that you can manifest. Whatever reason right now you're not able to manifest what it is that you're looking for. Whether it's just for you to just, you know, keep yourself, keep yourself on track. So there's some people coming in to help you. There's somebody coming in to help you. Clarify the Three of Pentacles with the Empress in Reverse. Yeah, because with the Empress in Reverse, this is someone who's financially destitute. Someone who's dependent financially on others. Okay, let's clarify this Four of Cups. So what did the universe bring you? The Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. Alright, so 
Did the universe bring you money? Did the universe bring you... Hmm. What's going on? Clarify the Queen of Wands. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. Um, yeah, Three of Swords in reverse, excuse me. All right, so, yeah, this person... This person broke your heart. This was a... a, a a person who was stuck on themselves, conceited. These are people who are, beauty is really important to them, you know. Let's clarify the sun card in reverse. Judgment. So we have someone, you know, being left out financially, only temporarily. Things are going to get better, but for whatever reason, you have to go through this process. And then we have judgment here. So this is telling me that you have clarity or that there's some type of, decision you need to make that's very important it could be something as important as a moral or ethical choice that you have to make clarify temperance then the magician in reverse we have the lover's card in reverse this person is just get, making you unhinged you know or this person is is like you guys are you trying to get balance with this situation here with this person you may have put someone out. Someone may have put you out. Okay. And it may just be temporary. You guys may reconcile. You know. But right now you going through this process. Okay. So you're in the process of trying to find a place. You have nowhere to go. You don't have any money. Clarify the Empress in reverse. Clarify with the star card. Yeah. This is Aquarius energy. You're trying to keep um, hope. You know. These people see something in you. They see potential in you. So they're going to help you out. Clarify the nine of pentacles in reverse. Clarify with the chariot in reverse. See, it's hard for you to, to move forward sometimes. You keep going back and forth with it mentally. You know, your head and your heart about what happened here. And you're just trying to keep balance. So, let me see what the universe has to say. What do we have for my Sag? But I'm showing that you're going to move forward. Because this is the overall energy here. You know, you're going to move forward, but um, you're going to have to fight, you know, it's going to be, you know, scary, what have you, but you got to move forward. Yep, nine of swords. So you're going to get clarity on the situation with the nine of swords in reverse. All right, so let's see what we got for you. Finances, so financial Challenges are affecting this relationship. Yeah, so like I said, some of you, you know, don't have a place to stay. You don't have money. Leap of faith. It's safe now to make the move you're considering. So some of you are figuring out what it is that you're going to do. And someone is offering you some help and you're going to go ahead and you're going to do it. Marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. So like I said, for some of you, this is you guys are going to get back together with the sun card in reverse here. And you got the lover's card in reverse. You guys are fighting right now. But it's, it's a process you have to go through. It's, this is like one of these tests of your relationship. You know, it's like something you have to go through. You're supposed to learn something. I'm surprised the fate card didn't come out yet. Yeah, because there's addiction here. There's children in here. And there's acceptance. So there's lessons that have to be learned in this relationship so one of them is you guys going through this that you're going through but it looks like you're going to get back together so i hope things work out for you whichever way but you have free will to decide what you want this is just a reading you don't have to claim it you know but that's what i'm seeing in the cards all right so it is what 1907 all right so we're going to start at uh 20 for leo all right, so what do we got for my Leo Massive? Leo! What's going on, Leo? Last but not least, let's see what we got for November 17th to the 23rd. Leo. Got my braid. Hold on. Leo, Leo. What's going on with Leo? All right, Leo. 
November 17th through the 23rd. Leo. We got the Seven of Wands in reverse. Leo. That's your energy. What are you letting go of? What are you no longer fighting for? What are you not defending? What's no longer important to you? What's not worth the fight? We got the two of wands, okay? We got more wand energy here. So you're trying to make a decision. You, now you're trying to figure out what you're going to do. You've decided it's not worth it. You decided you're not gonna def you're not gonna fight you're not gonna defend you're not gonna put up a fight okay and then we got the hangman in reverse so this could be someone feeling like someone betrayed them um, this could be feeling like you got taken advantage of um, that things are not right that you didn't see it coming you know because when it's in the upright the hangman you're enlightened you see a different perspective. But you didn't see this perspective. You didn't see this coming. And then we have temperance in reverse. Because things are just not right. You know. Maybe you're not feeling right about the situation. You know. Maybe your mind ain't right about it right now. And you feel in some sort of way. And we have justice. So yeah. You want, you want what's right. You want what's right. You want what's fair. You want what's yours. You want what you deserve. All right. And the overall energy here. Oh, that was covered up. Interesting. So I have the page of swords in reverse. But we originally had the emperor. It was turned in like this. So this is what I'm showing here. Neither one of these are good energies. All right, so let's talk about this. I'm going to leave both of them here. All right, Cancer. I mean, uh, <laughs> why I call you Cancer? Leo, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer. Uh, let's see. Some of you could have Cancer in your chart. So why do we have this Seven of Wands in reverse here? Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse? Seven of Wands in reverse clarify with temperance. Um, somebody feels it is not fair. That something is not right. So they're not going to um, fight it. They might feel that somebody is crazy or somebody is off. Clarify this Two of Wands. Clarify with the Hangman. Yeah, somebody's been enlightened. They're like, oh, okay, I understand what's going on now. You know, but then we have the hangman in reverse. So maybe you see, you you know, you keep going back and forth in your head. Hangman in reverse clarified with the devil in reverse. Yeah, see, you um, you feel like this is a connection here where your, your thoughts are not good. Clarify the temperance in reverse. Clarify with the Queen of Wands. This represents Aries energy. So this is someone who is standing up against you. Someone who's taking their their uh, power and they're using their power against you. And you don't like that. Wow. Okay, or this could be somebody doing this to you, Leo. Clarify the Justice card. Why is the Justice card here? We have that clarified with the Five of Wands. I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody is coming back to get justice. Clarify temperance in reverse. Temperance. Oh, couples came out too many. Temperance in reverse. Clarify with the five of wands in reverse. Like somebody doesn't want to fight. They don't want to fight. They want to um, make up with the five of wands. They want to squash everything. And then we got the hangman here. Clarify the hangman. Hangman, clarify with the five of swords in reverse. All right, this is somebody who, yeah, they would do, they were trying to figure out what they wanted to do and then they realized that they don't want to fight. They don't. 
Clarify the devil energy in reverse. Why is the devil energy here in reverse? Clarify with the fool. Yeah, someone is going to try again. They may come back again. Okay, with the fool card. This is someone just being foolish, you know, and going and just going to do what they want to do. Clarify the queen of wands. Why is the queen of wands here? Three of swords. Okay, so this is somebody who is broken hearted. Okay, so maybe this person is being rejected. Clarify the five of pentacles in reverse. Clarify with the queen of wands. So this is somebody who is not accepting the truth of a situation. Okay, it looks like perhaps somebody doesn't want them. And somebody's not accepting it. They don't want to accept it. They're um, codependent upon this person with the devil energy in reverse. Like they need this person. That's what I'm showing here. So let me clear. Let me see what uh, spirit has to say to you in reference to advice. All right, what do we have for my Leos? Retreat, Leo. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So in this situation here, where you're upset, you know, um, if you're the person who's being treated this way, or um, you're the person who's doing this, you should take time out and retreat. And then we also have apology that popped right out. You can expect an apology that you want to hear. So perhaps someone did you wrong. In this case, you were the one who was done wrong. And then someone is going to apology. apologize. All right. So spirit is saying just to retreat, chill out, you know, calm down. Because this person wants to make up here with the five of wands in reverse and the five of swords in reverse. But the universe is reminding you to take your time with things. Go slow. Don't jump back into things. You know, don't just jump right back in. Take your time with this person. Okay? So, um, this is an interesting message for you, Leo. But that's what I got for you, baby. And uh, I hope all is well with you and that you work things out. All right? Let me get you something for the collective. We're going to do three of these for you guys. Let's see. What messages do we have for my fire signs? Okay, I guess it didn't want to come back out. Fire signs from November 17th through the 23rd. What do we got for my fire signs? We got retreat. Okay, so time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So this is a very important message because this just came out and this is specifically for... For Leo, but it's good for all of you. You all could use some time out in nature. You all could just take some time to sit down and reflect and look at what's going on before you make any any moves or take any actions. Stability. The relationship can stand the test of time. So for some of you, um, this relationship, like I said, your relationship is going through trials and tribulations. It's going through tests. You know, that was Sagittarius, you know, and that's what's going on. All right, so you just have to trust in the universe that you're going to get through it. With the sun card in reverse, you guys are going to get back together. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can uh, help you let go. All right, so for some of you, you know, retreat and release is a good thing to do. Okay, for some of you, you really just need to back off. All right, the message is clear. You know, and for some of you... Like I said, your relationship is just going through a test. So you need to just back off. Now that you understand that, you know, just back off. Like take a take a break. You know, be the one to take the break. Suggest the break. That's what I get for you, fire signs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if the message is resonating with you. If you don't want to share, you can click the like button. But yeah, I read the messages. And um, I hope all is well with my fire sign, Massive. And uh, until we meet again, peace out. Love you guys.